What is better for the company? To lower the cost of a product or to rise its price? In this video, you will learn what is the impact of the unit cost changes on the value of income? What is the impact of the unit price changes on the value of income? What is the impact of the fixed cost changes on the value of income? And what is better for the company to lower the cost of product or to rise its price? A change in unit cost, product price and fixed cost will change the break-even point and the target income. Let's focus on the impact on the break-even point right now. To check how the above-mentioned factors will affect the break-even point, let's change each of them separately. Let's start with the unit cost. Imagine a bakery that estimated the cost of baking one bun at 40 cents. Thanks to the energy subsidy, the bakery is able to reduce the unit variable cost to 36 cents. How will this affect the break-even of the bakery? A lower unit cost will move the break-even point to the left. This means that we will achieve it faster or, to be more precise, by selling fewer units. The break-even point in sales will also be lower. With a lower unit variable cost, the bakery can reach the break-even point by selling fewer bonds. Let's take a closer look at this, assuming that fixed cost is $30,000. In this case, the bakery may sell 3,125 fewer buns to break even. And what will happen when the cost of energy increases? The cost of baking one bun will also increase. For example, to 50 cents. If the unit cost is greater, we will reach the break-even point later by selling more units. Let's see if this is true in the case of the bakery. With a higher unit cost of 50 cents, the bakery has to sell 10,000 more buns to break even. Will the price change also affect the break even point? Suppose we lower the price of one bun from one dollar to eighty cents. Do you think the bakery will have to sell more or fewer buns to reach the break even point? Now let's see how a lower price of the product will affect the break-even point. This time, the break-even point has moved to the right. It means that we will achieve it later because its value in units and in sales is greater than the value before the change. In other words, we need to sell more units to reach the break-even point. In the case of a bakery, the situation will be as follows. As you can see, after lowering the unit price, the bakery has to sell 25,000 more buns to reach the break-even point. However, when the unit price is greater, the situation will be completely different. This time, the break-even point will be achieved faster by selling fewer units. Suppose we rise the price of a bun to $1.20. The situation of the bakery will change as follows. 
Rising the unit price will force the bakery to sell 12,500 fewer bonds to reach the break-even point. This time, the owner of a bakery decided to change its place. He did this to reduce the fixed cost. Let's check how the change in fixed cost will affect the break-even point. In this situation, the break-even point can be achieved faster. The new break-even point in sales and in units is smaller than before the change. Suppose the bakery owner managed to reduce the fixed cost to $24,000. The situation of the bakery will change as follows. The lower fixed cost will allow the bakery to break even with 10,000 fewer bonds sold. And what if the fixed cost is greater? The fixed cost in the bakery will increase, for example, due to the relocation to a more expensive place. Take a look at what happens when the fixed cost increases. A new break-even point will be achieved later by selling more units. If the fixed cost of a bakery rises to $36,000, the situation will change as follows. As the fixed cost increases, an additional 10,000 bonds have to be sold. It's time to summarize our observations. When we reduce the unit variable cost and fixed cost, it will make the break-even point easier to achieve. However, if we lower the price of the product, we will reach the break-even point later than before the change, and vice versa. It's time to answer the question asked at the beginning of this video. What is better for a company to lower the cost of a product or to raise its price? This question is tricky because it is best to do these two things together at the same time.